moderately attractive people likely get hit on more than extremely attractive people do. I get hit on so little I could believe that I am just extremely attractive, but the mirror won't let me. My uncle used to tell me he took the prettiest girl to prom because no one else dared to ask her. Probably 20 years ago I was at a concert by a local band that I really liked. There was a line of guys at the bar, talking about how attractive the singer was. I agreed, and it occurred to me that a lot of guys were probably too intimidated to ask her out. So after the show I asked her if she would like to get a drink. She said yes. Things didn't really go anywhere beyond a few dates, but it made me realize I shouldn't assume someone is out of my league. Had a girlfriend who was a model. She never got hit on except for really unattractive guys. I guess they had nothing to lose or use to rejection. She had a hard time dating. Of course. There are a lot more fives trying to land a seven than there are sevens trying to land a ten. So that must mean that I am one of the most attractive people to ever live. My wife is extremely attractive and I hit on her all the time. I don't think I've been hit on before but according to the internet men are oblivious to flirting so maybe that's why I'm saying this. Maybe in person, but extremely attractive people get hit on via DM constantly and famous ones get thousands every day. I'm super shy, so I often use online dating apps. I matched with this super attractive girl and we dated for a long time. I asked her about this once, and she said she almost never got hit on. There's definitely some truth to this. I don't know. I know someone who heads would turn when she walked into a room, and she was hit on by everyone from doctors on the plane flight next to her to randos pulling over at a stoplight. One of Terry Pratchett's books called Thud had a subplot along these lines. A drop-dead gorgeous woman was dating a person that had to carry around a note from the city ruler affirming that, on some circumstantial and anecdotal evidence he was probably mostly human. When asked why she was dating him, she replied that he was the first person that asked. Most people rate themselves lower on an attractiveness scale than other people perceive them. Also a lot of people are intimidated by beauty so I guess this makes sense. I saw this at a club a couple weeks ago. It was a slow night but an unusually uneven number of really hot girls especially two of them that most people would call a 9 or a 10. I kept watching guys dance within about 6 feet and then bail. No one even tried to dance with them except other girls. If I was single I would have definitely given it a shot. If I am buying a car I put more attention into the ones I can afford than the ones I can't afford. There's a handsome face attached to my skull, but it's buried under the thick padding of a neck beard. Where does that put me? Edit to clarify, thick padding of a neck beard is also meant to indicate that I am fat. Extremely attractive people are intimidating and it's easy to think that they don't need yet another guy ogling them, so I can understand this statement. You have to be completely delusional, confidently at their level of attractiveness, extremely witty and charming, or ridiculously wealthy to even consider approaching them. Most people are not any of these except for maybe delusional. I consider myself a 7 or 8 and I have been aggressively hit on by teen girls in front of my parents when I was in high school really shook me. Holy crap I must be extremely handsome, cause I never get hit on. I tell myself the same little lie whenever I'm in the shower too. Erka related effect was shown in studies where the most attractive women were usually passive in pursuing relationships, while the semi-attractive women more actively pursued men. I noticed this as well. In my younger days, when I went out looking like a sack of garbage, I got hit on a lot. But when I was all done up and fancy, almost no men approached me. Well no need to completely destroy my self-confidence before noon. You forget that a lot of people hit on others for fun. They don't care about attractiveness. See also catcalling. I was a literal fashion model in Manhattan and never got hit on. I'm also male, so that's probably why. As someone who's friends with folks in either category, this is anecdotally true. Not true, extremely attractive people get hit on all the time. 
Hard to believe, but there are a lot of people with confidence or overconfidence out there. Not everyone in real life is a timid socially awkward geek like on the internet. Because one would feel as if their chances of getting rejected are less if they hit on a moderately attractive person, in comparison to an extremely attractive person who probably gets hit on daily. That's why girls never talk to me, but the mirror says something else. I used to get dates with all kinds of women who were well out of my league. Because a leagues are a myth and b everyone else was scared to even talk to them. Turns out hot people like to fuck, too who knew. Now this ain't it. Reddit just wishes this was the case so they can use it as an excuse hit on an attractive girl. When in fact, real life no redditor men hit on hot girls all the time. One just needs to go to a bar or a gym to see this shit. My partner is probably the most beautiful woman I've ever dated. She's like pop star levels of cute. She gets hit on all the time guys who she thought were friends, randos on the street, etc. But she's also the kind of pretty that's very endearing and approachable, I suppose. Big eyes, really pretty friendly smile, and she's got a very bubbly personality. So I guess it depends on if you're the kind of attractive that is intimidating or not. While pretty girls can be intimidating for a lot of guys, there are still many of them who shoot their shot. Extremely attractive people are hit on constantly by everyone. Source worked at a place where top NYC modeling agencies would routinely host fashion week parties. Most beautiful men and women I have ever seen, and the impression I got was that everyone around them was trying real hard to fuck them constantly. Of course that may just be the modeling industry, notoriously shady. Everyday beauty is more attractive than runway model beauty. Fact smiling face with open mouth and smiling eyes. Probably depends on how confident narcissistic insane the hitter is. Elizabeth Cusinish got hit on once while having dinner in a restaurant with her husband. He asked her to dinner, she explained that she was already having dinner with her husband and the guy still didn't give up. The girl I know that gets hit on the most of everyone is a 5.5 tops. I hate getting hit on, and I'm not attractive I gotta let people know in the bottom of the barrel and they should be so desperate. When I was doing online dating I wouldn't ever message super hot chicks because I know they're used to a certain standard and I ain't it. So either I am extremely attractive or extremely unattractive. I believe I fall in the latter. After dating and being engaged to an objectively exceptionally pretty woman, it became obvious that being pretty has its disadvantages. As an average person, I never saw it before I saw her suffering with her life challenges. For example she always has to be defensive about people hitting on her, and it's extremely difficult for her to trust anyone because they are literally all trying to get in her pants. I don't know how attractive I am but I have had men be mean to me on dating apps because they thought I was a scam. That sounds like a humble brag but I'm sure someone who is a 10-10 would have that happen all the time, I personally am. Not that attractive to people who are considered 10-10 conventionally, I just don't have an interest as those people tend to be focus on health more than I to begin with. Side question what do drunk people see when there's an already ultra attractive person near them? Does their perception start to go in reverse? If you hit an extremely attractive person enough times they will eventually become moderately attractive, and finally very unattractive. I honestly think is a cultural thing. Here in Mexico super attractive women are being hit on constantly, that's because Mexican men are crazy thirsty, that's why the stereotype is that we have a bunch of kids. I am extremely attractive, and NGL most people are too intimidated to talk to me, so I always have to make the first move. You're right. Today I learned I must be extremely attractive, because I've never been hit on. I've always thought a strong 8 is way more fuckable than a 10 and I stand by that. So by your logic I'm extremely attractive. Or just not attractive at all. I used to get hit on, then I got an elaborate neck tat and no one approaches me. I think it's less to do with how attractive you are and how intimidated people are of you. A lot of PPL still think visible tattoos scary criminals so maybe that has something to do with it. They are more down to earth than your super attractive individuals too.